Hey, with Alia Ismaili from from France, a uh, two minute short film, The Art of Competition, played at the Experimental Film Festival. Really, really cool film. You wrote it, you directed it. Uh, do you do films like this, kind of like installation, kind of experimental films? Is this sort of like what you do all the time? Yeah, I did it kind of few few ones last year, but I think this one is the more achieved one. Um, but yeah, I did a few. I did like four or five of these ones before I um, filmed the, the art of competition. Do you like, are you surprised by this one? Is the, 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 you're kind of alluding that this is your most successful film. Are you surprised by the success? Yeah, because um, I didn't have any like fundings or money. So it was really like uh, close family and friends uh, gathering and doing things uh, with passion. Yeah. And so when I update, updated everything in the festivals and stuff, I was kind of surprised of um, the good reviews that I had. Well, I think that you're you're tapping into an emotion that that's very that's very universal and common. I think that's why like it's the competition, you know, to people like what the the pros and cons of it, right? Like the mm. you know, the how could it, it could be destructive, but it also can be very inspiring for somebody. I guess, right? Yeah, and um, I wanted that the dance kind of was the answer of this question uh, for the ones that watching it. And there is not really an answer to who's the best at both of them. And yeah. also I wanted to point that out. And, and so the, let me, let's talk about the sound design first because I love the, I love the intro. It's very poetic and it kind of like sets sets the stage. Did you yeah. write that before, like before you started filming? Like what was the process of the, like you wrote, did you write that kind of monologue before you started filming the scenes? Um, I think, yeah, I think I wrote it like what I wanted, not the exact phrase. Um, first of all, I love monologues in movies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love like the effect that you're kind of close to the people that are watching or close to the the people that's doing the monologues, the voiceovers. Yeah. And um, and yeah, I I recorded it uh, with a friend in London, and uh, my friend, uh, one of my best friend, is a sound designer, so he's the one that kind of uh, put a glitchy voice effect on the all the, um, the voiceover during the the first half of the movie. And yeah, I really like it too. <laughs> no, it's a great, that, that's why I wanted to talk about it first. It's a great sound design. It's like really, it's really, it, st it stands, it, it sets your film apart from the other kind of experimental films because it has, a, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of art artistry and uniqueness in the, in the sound design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's thanks to my friend that did, did he did the first um, part of the video, the first music, the first soundtrack. And then the, when it, it was about the dance, uh, it, it's two of my other friends that composed the music. Oh, wow. So there's so it's so there's a lot going on, like uh, like and, and who did the voiceover? Yeah, it's three people that did the, the soundtracks. Yeah, and the voiceover. Uh, she's a friend that I met in London. She's great. Yeah, she really yeah, like yeah, yeah. tells the story, right? Like, you, you, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the video then. So, how did you like? Because there's like there's all kinds of different kind of. Uh, I'm assuming you shot certain parts and then kind of like kind of rejiggered things in 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 the editing. I'm assuming. Yeah, I I did also the editing. I like to. Um, to edit, um, like to color grade and to edit uh, my work. Because for me, it's like writing another story, you know? Yeah. And um, I wanted to um, work with uh, the black and white and that the black and white was very important and telling a story on its own uh, in the story. And, um, and yeah. <laughs> yeah and and so yeah it's really great so you so you just kind of shot 
certain moments and then <clears throat> like certain kind of like tell me about the shooting process then like yeah the two main actors i guess right and then you had a third one yeah. and then where did you find the two main actors so i knew uh, one of them um that was a dancer and i already did a project with him that went very well and i knew that the both of them they're like best friends in life Okay. So that that was nice to set them as competitors in the movie, but in reality they're like brothers. And so first first um, I listened to the soundtrack and I was like I want to do a dance, uh, like a dance movie, yeah. just to dance. No, like not the debuts and the voiceover and stuff. But then I, as it was going with time, uh, we were working on the choreography. And I was like, okay, so maybe I'm going to uh, put uh, like one minute before the dance to like to set the story. And so we went to a studio in Paris and uh, we had only four hours to shot everything. So we went pretty fast to shot everything. And um, it, went, it went really quickly because they are really good dancers and they knew the chore choreography. And also I let them a lot of uh, freedom. Okay. Like if the choreography was not um, the exact thing that we did before uh, on repetition, it was okay, you know. Gotcha, and yeah, and then so then what did the, what did the, I'm curious when they saw the film, what did they think of the film when they saw it? Yeah, they really liked it. They really liked it, yeah. and uh, in the dance field, you know, it's kind of uh, unusual to see uh, movies like that. Yeah, that's what I mean. It must have been interesting for them to watch, see them in silhouettes and kind of different kind of like stock, yeah, like film yeah. kind of like uh, grains. Like it must have been really cool for them to watch. Yeah, yeah they really enjoyed it. They probably had no <laughs> idea that this was going to, they were, they, 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 I'm assuming they weren't expecting this type of film. Mm, they know me and I have like a bit of this style, like it's okay. kind of my style, so... <laughs> They know that I could do something like that, but yeah, they, they were really, they were really surprised. And as I said, we're all like really good friends, and I I really like to work with people that I love. So it was also the set day was also a really nice uh, experience. Yeah, so you just like it's so it's such a great great unique film where you like I said you worked with your friends, amazing sound design, you got these very talented dancers, and then you kind of figured things out. In the, the editing process, I'm sure. I'm just, how long were you? Did you spend working on it? Like, did you kind of tinker with a lot of things? Mm, I knew uh, what I wanted. Uh, it was more about the the color grading that I worked on the most, like to create the perfect shades of black and white. Yeah. Um, but the editing was pretty fast because I knew I kind of knew what I wanted uh, at the first place. So could you, I, 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 do, I don't think you have to get too specific, but how, how did you do that? <laughs> how did you do, like, what do you do? Is it, is it Adobe that you're using? Yeah, I'm on Premiere Pro. Yeah. Um, and also, even if sometimes I work on DaVinci for color grading, this time I, I worked with uh, Premiere Pro. Uh, it worked well on me, so I did everything on uh, Premiere. And did you teach yourself how to, how to work that system? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I didn't went to any film school or stuff like that. I I learned uh, alone uh, YouTube tutorials. <laughs> you, yeah, there's all kinds of YouTube tutorials. Mm -hmm. for, that's that's yeah, the amazing yeah. thing, right? Where people yeah. back in the day went to school for for this. Yeah, really. Spent thousands of dollars, and now you just have to watch mm -hmm. that. But it, there, it's so overwhelming, the Adobe that that you can get you can get like uh, I guess pardon the, the the repeated word but you can get overwhelmed by the experience i guess right because there's so many things that you can play with yeah i think that when you go first like to something like adobe or davinci or like uh, there's too many like options i don't know what to do but once you get the hand it's really nice and and works really wonders i know that now for the da vinci for me i kind of have this feeling because you know i have my own like tricks for premiere yeah. that i can't do on da vinci but i'm learning uh, you're this. learning yeah yeah, yeah well yeah. This, are you always working on a video is that where you're, you're always kind of creating something uh i'm also a photographer so okay. i do both 
uh, photo and videos. And so how is this film doing? Like you, you say it's playing at a lot of festivals? Yeah, so I put it on um, many festivals and um, I got selected at four. And yesterday I had my uh, second, like this is this was my first prize. Okay. And uh, now I had my second one. And so I'm waiting uh, for the dates to come. Um, but yeah, uh, for and far as it goes, uh, it's uh, working really well. So we sent you the audience feedback video from North American audience. What did you think of what they had to say about your film? Mm, it was my first time ever that I saw like people that I really don't know from ac across the globe, not my age, like talking about uh, my art. So I was really like, um, I was very thrilled. And I loved how um, the message that I wanted to give, um, like this question mark about competitions, about the two guys fighting. Yeah. Um, I, I love how, um, um, thanks to like the sound design and the color that I choose, they kind of like understood it. So, and I love how, yeah, they talked about the techniques of editing and the techniques of like sound designs because we worked uh, a lot on them. So it was really nice. Yeah, no, and it's a perfect, the perfect length. Like you didn't overdo it. You just basically like, it's two minutes. It's perfect. It's like an installation where like, it, it 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 deserves like repeatedness. Like it needs to be, you need to watch it a few more than a few times to, to yeah, really yeah. get get its essence. I guess right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you what do you like after this festival run? What do you what, what do you want to like? What do you do with these films? Like, do you put them on YouTube? Like, how do you kind of like? How do you want to like show like like because they're amazing films. Like, I'm curious like well, how do you want to distribute them. Um. I don't know. Um, I'm working on an exhibition in Paris. Okay. So during the exhibition, I want to like project all of my videos. That's for sure. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna see. I, I really don't know. I'm not uh, really into like it's very new to me. So I I will see how I will put it. Like I put it on my socials, and it worked very well. Yeah. So I'm going to see how I can, um, like, yeah, share it again. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you got a pretty, you're just, you got a sizable following on your Instagram page. And uh, so it's growing. I guess that's a good thing. And then, because you got some great video videos and you're, like I said, you're a photographer. And then you have your website as well, I guess, right? People can go to yeah, your website. Yeah. We'll have a link down the podcast. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And then you can, yeah, so you, you're, you're, you're just, I guess you just, you said you're just starting out. Yeah. Yeah. It's been just like two or three years. So <clears throat> I'm a new, I'm a new guy. That's <laughs> I don't amazing. Know how to say. <laughs> Do you have any goals or are you just kind of working project to project? Uh, I have, my dream is to make movies <laughs> yeah. um, and I want to do another short movies, but maybe, um, yeah, with more budget, like searching for fundings and stuff and taking the time to do uh, a one that I really like so I can go again on festivals and stuff. Gotcha. Well, I think this is a, <clears throat> this is a really great uh, experimental film. Like I see a lot of them and I think this is one of the better ones of the year. So, and like I said, yeah. you're tapping into an emotion that's mm. <clears throat> that people understand, right? And it, it started like basically not only is it a great sound design, which kind of it sets itself apart. Like you can watch, you can listen to the film, right? But then you got this amazing, um, these amazing visual visuals as well. And like you said, you're just you're not spending all this money. You're just <clears throat> you're just kind of using the art of the Adobe, right, to kind of create it. <laughs> yeah, that that's what I'm most proud of is yeah. that with like zero money, almost uh, we did that. So. It also shows that when you're passionate about something, you don't need to have uh, tons of money to no. to do art. Like art is not about money. Yeah, but it's, but it's the tools that we have in this in the twenty first century as well, right? So yeah, I think it's yeah yeah it's the tools that we have and 
when you're surrounded by the good people. Yeah. It's very important. It's all about the people. Yeah, you're hundred percent. Well, let's uh, let's talk again when, when you make your next film. Because <clears throat> I'm assuming you're going to make a lot of them and keep in touch. Because mm -hmm. I want to see what you do next, and I'll keep an eye on your website and your Instagram. We're following you, so so, uh, mm -hmm. so keep up the good work. Uh, yeah, I hope so. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but uh, pretty soon, I guess. <laughs> pretty soon. All right, let's talk. We'll talk again when you make your next film. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs>